हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द मैक बॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व एम सी क्यूज रिलेटेड टू सिंपल स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन और फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज स्ट्रेस ऑप्शन आर ए एक्सटर्नल फोर्स बी इंटरनल रेजिस्टिव फोर्स सी एक्सीएल फोर्स एंड डी रेडियल फोर्स एंड द आंसर इज बी इंटरनल रेजिस्टिव फोर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉलोइंग आर द बेजिक टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेस एक्सेप्ट ऑप्शन आर ए टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस बी कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस सी शेयर स्ट्रेस एंड डी वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेस आंसर इज डी वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन when tensile stress is applied axially on a circular road its three options are given first diameter decreases second length increases third volume increases which of the above are true and the options are a only one b only two c one and two and option d all of the above as we know that if the component is subjected to tensile stress the length of the component will increase so second option is right and diameter will decrease so first one is also right so our correct answer is c 1 and 2 next question when compressive stress is applied axially on a circular road its first diameter increases second length decreases third volume decreases which of the above are true as we know that if the component is under compressive stress stress then obviously the length will decrease and diameter will increase so correct answer is c our next question is which of the following is not a basic type of strain options are a compressive strain b shear strain c area strain and d volume strain correct answer is c area strain next question tensile strain is options are a increase in length by original length b decrease in length by original length c change in volume by original volume and d all of the above correct answer is a increase in length by original length next question compressive strain is options are a increase in length by original length b decrease in length by original length c change in volume by original volume and d all of the above correct answer is b decrease in length by original length next is volumetric strain is options are a increase in length by original length b decrease in length by original length c change in volume by original volume and d all of the above correct answer is c change in volume by original volume next question hooke's law is applicable within options are a elastic limit b plastic limit c fracture point and d ultimate strength correct answer is hooke's law is applicable within elastic limit option a next question young's modulus of elasticity is options are a ratio of tensile stress by tensile strain option b shear stress by shear strain option c tensile stress by shear strain and option d shear stress by tensile strain correct answer is option a tensile stress by tensile strain next question 
modulus of rigidity is options are a tensile stress by tensile strain option b shear stress by shear strain option c tensile stress by shear strain and option d shear stress by tensile strain correct answer is b shear stress by shear strain bulk modulus of elasticity is options are tensile stress by strain b shear stress by strain c tensile stress by shear strain and d normal stress on each face of cube by volumetric strain and the answer is d next question poisson's ratio is options are a lateral strain by longitudinal strain b shear strain by lateral strain c longitudinal strain by lateral strain and d lateral strain by volumetric strain and the answer is a lateral strain by longitudinal strain it is also known as lateral strain by linear strain the relation between young's modulus e bulk modulus k and poisson's ratio m is given by four options are a e is equal to 2k my into 1 minus 2 mu b is equal to b e is equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu c e is equal to 2k into 1 minus 2 mu and fourth option d is e is equal to 2k into 1 minus 3 mu correct answer is b e is equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu next question a rigid body has poisson's ratio equal to options are a 0 b 1 c less than 1 and d greater than 1 as we know that the rigid body will not be having any type of deformation so our answer is a 0 next question two parallel equal and opposite forces acting acting tangentially to the surface of the body is called as options are a complementary stress b compressive stress c shear stress and d tensile stress and the correct answer is c shear stress thank you hope you enjoyed this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you